What's up, YouTube? It's Monday at approximately 4.30. I've had a long day at work, as I'm sure you have too, so I wanted to bring you a really quick recipe on how to make a pot roast. In my favorite, the Instant Pot. So let's just jump right in. <laughs> Alright folks, the first thing you're going to want to do is prep your meat. So this is going to give us time to get this thing nice and marinated in those spices, spice blend, salt, pepper, the whole nine yards. It's going to give it a little bit of time to settle in while we prep everything else. So go ahead and take your knife and we're going to cut this into about a two inch piece right there. And we're going to mirror that, mirror that, oof, that was bad, all the way down. Now, a lot of recipes will tell you to remove the fat, but I say no. As my absolute favorite blues man, Mashed Potato Johnson said, it's all about flavor, and that's where your fat is gonna come in play. That's where the flavor is, people. Leave it on there. I'm listening to your cat meow at you begging for food. Okay, so once you do that, now you're gonna cut this into about four pieces. Just break it, just break it down into about four. Now, when you break it down like this, what's it's gonna do is it's gonna give you four sides or six sides on each piece that are gonna be covered in seasoning. So I mean, do the math. The more sides you have, the more seasoning you have on those sides, the better it's going to taste. So, we're just going to break that down, and we're going to do that for the rest of the pieces. Meow. Meow. Alright, so once you have all that broken down, we're going to go ahead and grab our spice blend, and we're going to grab a bowl that we can mix this all together in. Okay, now that you got your meat transferred, go ahead and grab your spice blend and just dump it right over there. If you're looking for the recipe for that, it's in the video description down below. And guys, this is going to be one of those times where you got to get your hands dirty. You can wear gloves if you want, but the real secret is you got to get your hands in there. So just go ahead and mix up your meat and make sure everything gets nice and coated. You can add the rest of the spice blend. Just make sure that every side of that gets a nice, nice bit of that blend. Alright, so now for veggies for this, I grabbed uh, white boilers, they're a tiny onion, you know, it doesn't, you don't have to use a huge big white onion. I like making mini pot roasts, so I'll use mini pearl onions, I'll use baby carrots, usually they have the fancy carrots that are about this big with the green still on them, but this will do as well. And then, uh, of course, my favorite, mini ruby gold potatoes. Pearl onions have always been the bane of my existence. They're really difficult to peel because they're so small. So I only have like one tip on how to get these done. And that's really just take them and cut the tips of them off. Ooh, don't cut your fingers off. Just be really careful on that skin. Cut the tip off, cut the tail off, and then just rip the outside layer right off because that paper is going to be a pain in the ass to rip off. So there you go, pearl onion. So just do that with the rest of them. Like I said, cut the tip off, cut the tail off, and then just peel the outside layer, and that'll get them done. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of those. Okay, now that we have our onions prepped, we have our carrots washed, our potatoes ready to go, we're just going to open up two cloves of garlic. So the secret to this, cut the end off, leave the skin on, cut the end off, get rid of that. Then you're going to want to take the flat of your knife with the blade facing away from your hand and then take the heel of your palm and just give it a couple of light taps. And what that's going to do is separate the skin from the uh, garlic clove and you can just peel it right off. Maybe it'll take two pieces, but there's one clove and we're going to leave it whole because, you know, I'm only cooking for two people so there's really no need to dice it up or anything. Cut the end off of that one, same thing, tap, 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 peel the skin right off and uh, that's ready to go in the Instant Pot. So now that we have all our veggies ready to go, we're going to head over to the stove where we have a pan with butter ready to brown our meat. Now, I will say there is a saute option on the Instant Pot, but I found that the bottom of the Instant Pot is a little too small to fit most of the meat that you're trying to brown and get a nice even coat across of them. So we're going to head over to the stove and show you how to do that. All right, over here at the stove, we got our pan up at a high heat with a little bit of butter into it. Well, actually a lot of butter. Because we're already using full fat beef, guys, it might as well just use butter. But, you know, if you're health conscious or whatever, you can use olive oil as well. So this is nice and hot. I got about a 7 on my uh, gas stove, probably a little bit lower, higher, plus minus, an induction coil with electric, who cares. Uh, and we got our beef. 
So we're going to want to go ahead and brown this so it gets a nice crispy outside before we put it into our Instant Pot. So we're going to just jump in here. We're going to grab some pieces and start. Ooh, nice. It's going to be delicious. Oh, I get a little too excited with it. I love cooking. Every so often, take your fork and just check to see on the side. You're really not going to want to cook these all the way through. You're just going to want to get a nice crispy edge on all the outside edges. So if you need to rotate, go ahead and rotate. As you can see, it gets this nice crispy skin. And that's what you're going to get with the butter as opposed to the olive oil. I found that olive oil doesn't really just give you that nice crispy outside that butter just has. See, look at that edge. Oh my god. I wish you could smell this. It smells absolutely fantastic. I really hope you try this recipe. I really do. It's so easy to do on a Monday when you're tired from work, you had a long day, bad day, boss is bitching at you, the whole nine yards. And it's going to be a crowd pleaser. The whole family is going to love this, as mine does, which is only a family of one. But that's okay. So since these are already done, we're going to go ahead and transfer these pieces into the Instant Pot Bowl because the meat's gonna go on the bottom. Okay, now that all your meat is done, we're gonna go ahead and add our vegetables and we're gonna get this Instant Pot rocking. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now for the assembly. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our onions and our garlic, just pour them right in there. You get the idea. Take our carrots, Pour them right in there, and then take our potatoes, pour those right in there, and just make sure that's all on top. Okay, so then we're going to add about a half a cup of beef broth. I always like adding beef broth, chicken broth, vegetable stock, whatever you want to do, but I like beef. Okay, then we're going to take our Worcestershire sauce. This is the best stuff. Lee and Perrins, please sponsor me. I love you. I would drink this stuff all day if I could. So we're going to add about a quarter cup of that. About. Get that in there. All right. And uh, I'm going to add a couple dashes of uh, balsamic vinegar. You know, just why not? Okay. All right. And now we're ready to start the Instant Pot. Over at our Instant Pot, we've gone ahead and put the silver drum inside of it. And we're going to go ahead and affix the lid. You're going to get a nice little magical tone, okay? And then we're going to go right in the front here and we're going to hit pressure cook. That's going to give us normal, more, whatever. We're going to leave it in normal, high pressure, and we're going to set the timer for 36 minutes, 35 minutes. I'm going to do 36 just to give it a little bit extra. And just make sure on the top of the Instant Pot that right up here, this valve is in the sealing position, which is away from the front, not the venting. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wait for that to come to pressure, wait to cook, I'm gonna feed my cats, do the dishes, my nightly routine, and uh, we'll come back to you when it's all set. All right, folks, welcome back. Our Instant Pot is ready to go. Uh, one of the most important things to remember is you gotta let it reduce its pressure by itself for a little bit. So I've been in about 13 minutes here, which is enough, so we're gonna go ahead and put the camera above this and we're gonna give it the big reveal. All right, everyone, the big reveal. Oh, oh my God, it smells so good. I wish I could let you smell it here. Have some, oh, amazing. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The easiest meal you've ever made looks delicious. The meat is fall right apart. Oh, look at that. That's just absolutely beautiful. And it didn't take you that long, and it was super easy to make. Happy Monday, everyone. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Only one thing left to do, and give it a try. Mmm. Oh, my God. I came out even better than I thought it was going to. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you like what you saw, head on down below, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. We got a lot more great content coming out for you, so stick around. Say goodbye, Audrey.